Hey everybody, so today we're going to take a look at the Voxon KGUV2Q handheld away radio. It's a 10W radio which features a large color screen, super heterodyne receiver, cross band repeater, dual band transmit, and 7 band receive. This device costs about 160 bucks, the link down below. So inside the box you've got a manual, you've got multi band high gain antenna, we will test it later, you also get a charger. AC adapter, 12 volts, 0.5 amps, vehicle charging adapter, nice lanyard, belt clip screws, and the belt clip itself. It's made out of plastic and metal. And here's the radio itself. It's powered by a large 3200 mAh battery. Let's attach the belt clip to the battery. Feels pretty sturdy. And finally, let's attach the antenna. It has SMA male connector and SMA female connector on the radio. Voxen also offers a dual band stab antenna and a whole bunch of other accessories as well. You can buy USB programming cable, USB charging cable, battery illuminator, waterproof pouch, speaker mic, or a headset like this, which costs just about 5 bucks but provides really high quality sound. All the links in the description below. So, the radio actually fits really nice in my hand, even though it's a little bit thick due to high capacity battery. On the top of the radio we have a volume knob with power switch, the dial knob for setting the frequency, menu selections and other adjustments, transmit receive LED indicators and pretty bright LED flashlight. Moving on to the left side, we got nice and solid push-to-talk button, and these are function buttons which provide different features. For example, a quick press of this button turns the FM radio on or off. A long press turns the flashlight on or off. On the right side, we have two prone standard Kenwood port for speaker mic, headset and USB programming cable. On the front panel we have very loud speaker, microphone and backlit rubber buttons. As you can see, this radio has the same weird menu as all Chinese handhelds. It's not intuitive, but you can get used to it, just read the manual. Next I'm going to connect my multimeter to the radio and we will check the current draw. You need to connect your multimeter in series with the power source, in my case it's the battery. So, as you can see, it draws 42 mA in standby, and we got 1.5 amps and the maximum power output in the HF band. Now, let's check transmitter power output. We got 9.9 .9 watts in the VHF and 8.1 watts in the UHF bands. I also checked SWR of this antenna and we have 1.2 at 148 megahertz, which is pretty good, and we have SWR 2.4 at 440 megahertz. So it's not ideal antenna for the 70 cm band. And as you can see, almost useless for their band. Finally, let's connect this radio to a computer. First, you have to download and install Voxon software, the link in the description. Once that's done, you can start up this application. Then simply connect your radio to your PC using this USB cable. And power up your radio. Next, click the port icon, select available COM port and click OK. Now go ahead and click read. It's done, read OK. So here you can add some frequencies and program repeaters. Here's my radio settings, VFO settings. Here you can add or edit FM broadcast stations. In this tab you can reassign the side function buttons. And you can also remove this website from your radio screen. You can type your call sign here or whatever you want. You can also save your radio settings to a file on your computer. This can be very handy if you want to reset your radio to its factory settings or copy settings to another one. Then simply open that configuration file and load it into your radio. 
Once you finish setting up your radio, click the right button and wait until you see the right OK message. Your radio will reboot itself and you're good to go. So I've been using this radio for about 2 weeks now and I'm really impressed with it. I also have Yaesu FT3DR, which cost about 400 bucks, and both radios perform absolutely the same in terms of reception, but there's very noticeable difference in sound quality. This radio delivers exceptionally clear and loud sound, compared to my Yaesu. And of course, 10 watt radio can cover longer distances than 5 watt Yaesu, but in reality you get only a few extra miles, or even less. If you double the power, you don't double the range. In theory, to double the range, your radio power needs to be quadrupled. This is how radio propagation works. But anyway, the extra power is still worth it, and the battery handles that power pretty well. So that's it, and thank you for watching.